Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. Today's video is going to be a plan with me in my catch-all planner, my home planner, and my social media planner. I have switched some things around in how I am using these planners, so we will get into that also. The first thing that I'm doing here is adding down my weather. This just lets me know if it's going to be a pretty a day or not and I love to know the weather throughout the course of my week so having it at the very top of my planner is just such an easy way for that to happen for me I use my weather stickers these are from my shop if you're interested in them they will be linked in the description box below and I am starting off by time blocking my day so I love to time block in my catch-all planner if you are not familiar with time blocking it's basically the practice of planning out every moment of your day in advance in specific time frames so that you know exactly when you're going to do something so while the standard to-do list can tell you what you need to do time blocking tells you when you're going to do it and I love having my catch-all planner being a time blocking planner because I am allowed to like basically plan out every single moment by the hour and I can put it across the board with all my tasks, be it a business task, a home task, or just something that I wanna do personally. It's all listed in this planner. I am planning on doing a time blocking video for you guys so that I can give you some additional tips on how to time block. I have done one before and I will link that one above, but I do have some additional tips that I believe may help you if you are looking to start time blocking in your planner. The other thing that I have been loving lately is my little planner sticker icons. So as you can see, I am adding stickers as I am writing writing and I have been using some little functional stickers in order to plan my day and make my planner super cute and I have really been loving these. If you are a Patreon member, if you are a part of the Tom Squad, you are getting a bunch of these in the mail, those little home stickers that you see there. Those are headed your way for this month. Um, and, I'm, and I did create a bunch of other ones that I thought would be very helpful to you if you are a functional planner. So all you Tom Squad members, you're definitely getting these stickers. Another thing that I changed when it comes down to how I am using my catch-all planner is to make sure that I am not over scheduling my day. I have set an overflow day. So my overflow day is my Sunday. And on Sunday, as you can see, I don't put many plans on that particular day. And that's mainly because I have set it aside as an overflow day. day meaning that anything that I don't get done throughout the course of the week this is going to be the day that I try my best to do all of those different things that I did not get done. So Sundays now are basically a day of rest and a day of overflow where I can basically play catch up. Another thing that I started doing again was using insert sheets. So as you can see, I have this daily schedule half sheet that I'm going to actually insert into my catch-all planner. And this sheet will basically serve as my cheat guide for my social media posting for the week. I have loved to use this in order to plan out everything that I'm going to do for social media. I've realized that I like to change my mind up. A lot when it comes down to what I'm going to post and what videos I'm going to do throughout the course of the week so I was scratching out a lot of different things on my social media planner so what I decided to do instead is to pre-plan everything out on the half sheet and then when I actually do post everything I'm going to actually put it on my social media planner so my social media planner which we are actually going to be doing next I'm actually just going to decorate it but not write out every single thing that I'm going to post I'm going to wait until it's actually posted and then I will write down what I have already posted. So now my social media and my home planner will be more like tracking planners instead of 
pre-planners. So I'm just basically going to put in the fact that a video is going up or that a blog post is going up or that you know an email is going out but I'm not going to put exactly what I am going to actually do on that day until it is already done and I'm going to use this planner as like a scheduler so I just can kind of track and see what I did throughout the course of the month. So I'm really excited to use my planner this way because a lot of times when I'm looking back on my planners, I want to see what I had already posted, what I have already done, how has my business grown, what were my numbers in a particular month. I am mainly using it as a tracker more than a planner. So I'm just going to write in what the Money Monday class is going to be because I already know that that's definitely going to be the class. And then I did switch my planner back over to a vertical planner and it's just mainly because I really missed my vertical style and although I love the dashboard planner I just feel like the vertical just suits me better when it comes to my additional planners so I love using an hourly planner for my catch-all planner and basically I like to use vertical for everything else I feel like it just keeps everything very very simple and as you can see I'm just using colorful boxes to decorate or just to put my headers and that's basically going to be it very functional, very simple, and I have a bunch of space to write down everything that I need. The next planner that I'm flipping to is my home planner, and I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. I am just going to be adding in headers. With my home planner, I track this for my personal care, my self-care, my cleaning, my projects, my organi organizing of my house. All of that falls under this planner, including meal planning and things like that. Um, and keeping track of my family stuff. So all of that will go in here. And once again, I felt like the vertical planner was much suited for my style and it suits my functional planning well to where I have a bunch of space, I can write anything that has happened. And once again, it will be more of a tracker than it will be for me to pre-plan my actual week. Everything else will stay in my catch-all, and then after it happens, I will add it to this planner. So that's basically it for this plan with me. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one, and if you want more videos like this, make sure that you give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Until next time, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye, guys.